you have invested a sum of money at 12% compounded annually, we're going to be using this formula here, A equals P times 1 plus R divided by N to the power of Tn. We're going to quickly review the components in a second. How long will it take you to double your investment? And how long will it take you to triple your investment? So we're using this formula because this is um, compound interest, right? It's not simple interest. And um, P is the original amount that you invest. A is the final amount. N is the number of times that it compounds per year. In this case, because we're compounding annually, N is 1. If this was compound, compounded monthly, N would be 12. Daily, 365, and so on. Okay. And R, the rate, is just 12% which I will write as 0 0.12. So you can just divide 12 by 100 to get the rate. Great. And t is time. In this case, that's what we want to solve for. We don't know what t is. How long will it take you to double your investment? But we don't know what p and a are, do we? Well, we do. For the first one, for the first question here, how long will it take you to double your investment? It doesn't actually matter what the investment is. I'm just going to say that it's a dollar. And if P is one dollar, A is two dollars. That's it. So here we have one plus 0 0.12 divided by one. Anything divided by one is just the same thing, so I just don't even need to put the one there. And we have T times N, which is one again. T times one is just T. Great. So now, how can we solve for this? Well, first you can just divide both sides by 1, right? And anything divided by 1 is just the same thing. So we have 2 equals 1. 1 plus 0 0.12 is just 1.12 to the power of t. Why does the 1 disappear? Another way to look at that is that 1 times anything is just the same thing. So we don't need to write the 1 anymore. Great. Now. How can I bring the t down? How can I solve for t? We're going to need to use logarithms. I'm going to log both sides of the equation. And once I have the log of this, I can actually bring the t down and multiply by the log. That's a log rule, right? So I have log 2 is equal to t times log 1.12. Then if I want to isolate t, I can just divide both sides by log 1.12. Those disappear. So t is just going to be equal to log 2 divided by log of 1.12. I'm going to use my calculator. And we're going to get 6.116 years. So approximately 6 years. And 0.11 times 12, that would be approximately one month or so. Six years and one month. Great. But now we have another question. How long it will it take to triple your investment? So the question will look the exact same, but we need to replace the 2 by with the 3. So 3 is equal to 1 times 1.12 to the power of t. So I can log both sides again log 1.12 to the power of t, then I bring down the t. So I have t times log 1.12 equals log 3. Then we divide both sides by log 1.12. Those disappear. So t is equal to log 3 over log 1.12. Just plug that into the calculator. And we have 9.69 years. I'm going to, so we're going to have nine years. And to figure out the amount of months that this is equivalent to, I'm just going to go 0 0.69 times 12. Because that's just the portion of the year beyond the nine years, right? And I'm going to multiply it by 12 months in a year. So 0 0.69 times 12, approximately eight months. That's it. So, 
If you're investing at 12% compounded annually, it'll take about six years to double your investment and nine years and eight months to triple it. That's it. If you'd like to see more problems, check us out right here. Good luck.